Hello and welcome back to another numbers edition of Apple a day. This is an update to my video explaining how the function sum if works. One of my viewers asked how he could sum numbers if more than one condition was true. So something like if the value was equal to A, B or C, uh, then include them in the sum. So I looked into it and there was no real obvious way to do it. The condition parameter uh, does not support the syntax for something like this. There's no basic or clause available. Like you couldn't say equals A or B or C. So diving a little deeper in the numbers documentation, it did mention that using a regular expression for something like this might work. Now, regular expressions are usually used for searching text, like for complex text patterns. Um, uh, this tutorial is not going to cover how regular expressions work, but I will show you how to use it in this particular scenario. Now, there's a numbers function for regular expressions, and it's called regex. That's R-E-G-E-X. And I'm going to explain in detail how you would use the regex function to achieve this behavior. And as you can see, I have a blank numbers document already open. And I'm going to have two columns for log entries, uh, one for the category and the other one for the log time. So I'll just type those in right now. So I'm just going to type in a bunch of entries. And then I'll put in some times. So then over here, I'm going to add two more headings. I'm going to call this development and support and sales and marketing. So in the first cell under development and support, I'm going to create a new formula by typing in equals and sum if and then return. And by the way, if you are unfamiliar with how the sum if function works, I do have a detailed tutorial on this right here on Apple a day. So the first parameter is test values, and I'm going to just choose the category column for that. I'm going to tab over by pressing tab twice to choose some values, and I will choose log time. So now I'm going to select condition, and in the tutorial that I did previously, I would have typed in, in quotes, uh, equals development, or in this case, equals DEV. But that only works if we're summing the values for one category type, which, again, what I had demonstrated in my previous video. But let's say we want to include both development and support in this sum. There's no special character or clause that we can type in. Numbers doesn't account for that. That's where regex comes in. So here I'm going to type in the word regex. Just like that, I'm going to press return. As you can see, it takes two parameters, one for the regular expression string and the second to determine whether or not it's case sensitive in its search. So this first parameter, the regular expression string, that's where we're going to put in the values of the text that we want to check for. And we want to be able to put in dev and uh, sup for support. It needs to be in quotes. So I'm going to put in shift quote and type in dev. And then we need the symbol for or. And it is the pipe symbol, which is the shift backslash just above the return key. And then I'm going to type in SUP, S-U-P-P. -P. And then we have to close the quote. So I'm going to do shift quote again. And then I'm going to tab over to the case sensitive uh, parameter. And you can just type in the word false, or you can click on the drop down arrow. And we're going to choose ignore case. And that's it. I'm going to close this. And there you have it. It calculated nine. Now let's see if that's right. So we've got one for dev, and then two more for support, that's three. Three more, so that's six. One more for dev, that's seven. And then two more for dev, and that's nine. So it summed up these numbers for both dev and support. Now let's do the same thing for sales and marketing. So I'm going to select the cell and type in equals, sum if again, hit return. And under test values, I'm going to choose category again. I'm going to tab over to some values and choose log time. And then go back to condition and type in reg X and return shift quote. And I'm going to type in sales and then shift backslash for the pipe symbol. I'm going to type in MRK. I'm going to close the quote, tab over to case sensitive, type in the word false, hit return. And we got 13. So we can check that real quick. So I got sales for one. And two more for sales, that's three. Another two, that's five. Marketing is three, so that gives me eight. And then one more for sales, nine. And then four more for marketing, and that puts it up to 13. So that is working. So one more thing I wanted to show you, though, and I'm going to add another row. But this time, I'm going to type out the whole word of support rather than just the short form. 
I'm going to add six hours to that. And so what's going to happen when I tab out of this? Is that going to work? It did. It bumped that up to 15 from nine. And that's because it's looking to see if the text contains the text specified. Now, that usually isn't an issue because, you know, in this example, you're dealing with predefined categories. But, of course, there are ways to make regex look only at the beginning of the word or, indeed, the entire word. But that's a tutorial for another time. Uh, regex can come in handy with various text editors like BBEdit. And, of course, we've just found a great use case for it in Apple Numbers. Anyway, that's all I have for today. I'd like to thank the Apple A Day viewer, Kevy213, for his great question. Well, thanks for watching. I'm John Martins. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode of Apple A Day. Bye.